Today we are going to prep and paint a front bumper for a 2001 Chevrolet Prism Toyota Corolla, same difference, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we bought the bumper for like 38 bucks. We've already scuffed it with a scotch Bright pad. We cleaned it with our uh, wax and grease remover. The cleaner you get these things, the better off you are. Next, we're going to go ahead and lay uh, a couple coats of primer on. After I do that, I will uh, give you some more pictures. Uh, I'll try and have my brother film me while I'm laying the primer, too. That way you can see my technique for laying it. I usually use an aerosol can for primer. I usually use the self-etching primer. It's typically for metal, but it seems to work really good on bumpers for me. So I've not had any complaints. and. My oldest paint job is probably four years, so nothing's come back yet. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying this primer on, and my brother's going to hold the camera. Brother. This is just to show you guys you don't have to spend $500 at a body shop to get your front bumper replaced when some idiot slams on their brakes in front of you. And just like with anything else, the first coat's going to be light. You want to always overlap 50, about 50% 50 of your first pattern. You're obviously not going to get complete coverage with the first pass. So don't try it. If you do, it'll just run. You want the temperature to be between 60 and 80 degrees. I find works best. I mean, and again, you don't want to put this first coat on too thick, otherwise you're going to have issues with running paint and other issues that you just don't want to see. Now the average body shop to replace a bumper and paint it with a base coat, clear coat paint job is between $300 and $500. Uh, so far, between the bumper, the one can of primer, the pint of paint, and our scotch bright pads, we have $65 in this right now. Um, add the clear, you're looking at another 20 bucks. So for less than a hundred bucks, this we bought the bumper, we're gonna paint the bumper, and then you know we'll hang it. So got your first coat on, you want to let that dry for five to ten minutes, set up a little bit, then you want to come back and do your second coat. So we'll be back in a second. Okay, it's been about seven minutes. We're gonna go ahead and layer a second coat. Now your second coat's going to be a little bit thicker. You're still not going to cover the entire bumper with it. There's still going to be some spots that are kind of thin and showing through. But it's going to cover quite a bit more this time. And again, you always want to start from the edge and work your way in. Overlap about halfway through. A lot of this stuff is just repeating what you did with the first step. How far would you say that you keep the can away? About six to eight inches. Six to eight inches away. That's six to eight real inches, not six to eight man inches. <laughs> <laughs> you girls know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Pretty much the same thing all the way through, so if you guys are bored with this, you can fast forward to the next part. So, here we go. 
Alright, this out. There goes an out here. Hand down, hand down. It'd be right if we didn't kick one in over a day. Now there are some additives that you can put in your paint. And there are some flexible paint coatings. Um, for me, for the people I do this for that want it fast and cheap, still looking distant, decent, but still pretty fast and cheap I've never had one come back and I've never had to add any of those additives to it so I personally say don't waste your money unless it's a very high-end paint job in which case you need all the help you can get So that's coat number two. This one you definitely want to let dry for about 10 minutes, depending on your temperature. Then you want to come by and do your final coat. On your final coat, you want to make sure that there is nothing showing through. You're going to lay it on thicker than the last coat, but you're still not going to lay it on so thick that it's running. You might want to get a few pieces of sheet metal and practice on that. So you don't mess up your bumper or fender or whatever it is you're painting. But uh, we'll be back in about 10 minutes. Get ready to lay the final coat, the third coat on the bumper. This is what we've got so far with two fairly thin coats. It's almost covered, but not quite. You still can, you can still see a few spots or a few light areas. Right, we're gonna lay this last coat and you should get complete coverage with a final coat. After I get this final coat done, You'll want to let this dry for about half an hour, and then you'll want to stuff it again or hit it with like a 400 grit sandpaper. Um, I typically just stuff it with my pad. I'm not great. And that's just clean everything off and promote adhesion of the paint, the base coat. There we go, final coat. Now some auto parts stores also will offer a uh, single stage paint in the spray can, which is what I used to use when I first started painting vehicles for some of my customers. And you can actually be surprised at how well some of these paint jobs turned out. The car lots were extremely happy with them. If you're say you're just touching up a spot panel, you don't want to sit there and have to mix a whole bunch of stuff. You can get a single stage and kind of blend it in. It's a little harder to blend in, but it can be done. It just takes time and patience. As you'll see. Since I'm taking my time and I'm not laying it on too thick and I'm overlapping like I should, I don't have any runs, my finish is nice and smooth. Now, I always do this in a well ventilated area. Just because I'm not wearing my mask doesn't mean you shouldn't be. So, put your damn mask on. My lungs are pretty much trashed as it is, so. Always to like pay close attention to your to your corners and your edges and any spot underneath. Spots that you sometimes want to think about because you're not standing above the core. You don't want to get this thing painted, hang it, 
and you see that you missed a big spot because you didn't take your time. Like I said, this third coat you should get complete coverage. There should be no thin spots. None of the original black should go through. It should be one uniform color and one uniform texture. If you find that you do have a run, let it completely dry, sand it out, and then recoat the entire thing. Don't try and let it dry for 10 15 minutes, sand it, and then do it, otherwise you're going to tear it up. Alright, and that's it. All three coats of primer are on. As of right now, it's looking pretty decent. I don't see any deep gouges or any runs or dust anywhere. So we're gonna let this dry for a half hour. Then we're gonna come back and hit it with a scotch bright. Then we're gonna wipe it off with the wax and grease remover again. Remember, the more time you take prepping, the better your paint job's gonna look. So we'll be back in about a half hour. Alrighty, we got the bumper prep now. Primer's dry, we scuffed it. Wiped it down again. Um, I'm using a base coat clear coat. So for my base coat, I do a one-to-one -one mixture, one part paint, one part reducer. I do a medium reducer for the temperature I use. Um, gives a ton to smooth out pretty good. Same thing with the you do with the spray gun that you do with the paint can. You start from the outside of work, go around all your edges, then you overlap in 50% sections. Okay. I'm not going to talk much while I'm doing it because you're not going to hear me and I've got to hold my breath because I've got to give my brother the mask. And after I lay this, I'm going to get a quick shot of it and we'll run outside. So this will be the first coat. We're going to do three coats. Same basic fit theory. First coat goes on real light, doesn't have full coverage. Second coat's a little bit better. Third coat will give you the final coverage. Here we go. So I've got the first coat laid, the 
it's been about 15 minutes I left I let them flash for 15 to 20 minutes and then recoat I usually do three to four coats depending on the color and what it looks like after the third coat um, when you see it you'll notice it has a dull finish and not a shiny finish that's what it should have on a base coat clear coat paint job uh, you don't start seeing the clear until you or the shine until you actually start laying the clear coat so when we go in here you'll see pretty much a flat finish on this bumper and we're gonna go ahead and lay the second coat let's go come on here video is recording guess I gotta hit that again Turn it back on Turn off my Be doing see, some editing. As you see, it does, it's got a flat finish. We did not get complete coverage because it was the first coat. We kind of want to look and make sure there's no dirt or dust in it at this point before you lay your second coat. One little piece of dust can kill the whole job. Uh, it's looking pretty smooth to me, so I'm going to go ahead and lay my second coat, guys. And hold the breath. We can share this thing. What? So we can share this thing. I can't hear you. So we can share this thing. Ah, sorry, we're There's your breath so you can't, and then I'll take a breath. Okay, so that's the second coat. We're gonna let that flash for another 15-20 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and lay our final coat. 
Um, so give me a few minutes. We'll be back. We'll finish this up and get ready to lay some clear on this. So we've got the second coat done. It's flashed in. Same results. Dull finish, which is what we're looking for. No runs. No sags. So we're good there. We're going to go ahead and lay this last coat. Now your third coat's going to be a little heavier than the last two, but you still want to be very careful so you don't cause it to run. We're going to lay this last coat, then we'll let it dry and we'll mix up some clear and finish this thing up. Where's your uh, mask to? Probably out there. Hold your breath on your mask. Also on my last coat, I always can go a little bit different than uh, my first coat. I go the opposite direction that I went with the first one. Seems to co cover better that way for me. start getting your clear coat together. So this again is gonna flash for about 15 to 20 minutes. We'll mix your clear coat and we'll lay it on. It'll look very similar to that after the clear coat's done, maybe a little bit glossy. That's what we've got so far. Professional result. So now the third coat is dry ready to lay some clear coat. I always take a uh, bright flashlight and go over my paint jobs, which I already did, and make sure there's no light spots anywhere, no tiger stripes, anything like that. And this one to me looks really good. There's no, no issues whatsoever that I can see. Not a run one, so I'm happy. Now it's time for the clear coat. Now your clear coat, remember, you do not use the same pressure that you use with your base coat. You want to turn it down a little bit. Um, I usually run it about 27 to 32 pounds. 
on my two ways. Wear your mask when you're putting on your clear coat because it does have hardener in it. It will get in your lungs and it will give you a cold or make you feel like you've got the flu. I'm sacrificing my lungs for my brother today because, well, he's my brother. You don't have so. to. All right. All right. Here we go. I always lay my clear coat the same way I laid my uh, last coat of paint, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, you're not sacrificing your lungs for me, you're doing it for them. Yeah, that's Yeah. Shit. We can't leave it inside, it'll get in the filter. This is what we've got after the first coat of clear. We're gonna lay one more coat on this and be done with this project. Looks really good. One more coat and we'll be done. Not bring your mask. Right here is the only thing I'm seeing. Yeah, I know. Did not bring your mask. No. It's out there on the hood. You gotta go get it. It doesn't even matter. Yes, it does. Go get it. Pretty much, guys. After I lay the second coat, this is going to be done. We'll let it flash again. It'll harden overnight, and that'll pretty much be the video. So once I'm done laying this last coat, I'll show you a quick go over on it. After it dries, I'll do one more, and that'll be it for this video.
this one spot. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Nice and shiny, no drips or runs. Now you guys watched me do it. It wasn't hard. This is something any of you can do at home with the right knowledge, patience, and equipment. And just think, this thing hasn't been wet sanded, no buffing, nothing. This is the finished product after painting. That's it. So. Professional quality, professional looks, pocket change compared to what everybody wants to charge you. Now, I will have a how-to video on how to hang this bumper cover, so look out for that. That's coming up next. Uh, I appreciate everybody's support. I noticed that I have a few more subscribers this week. I really appreciate it. Keep doing it. Uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like what I'm doing, subscribe. I'm going to add videos as much as I can, try and help you guys out. Save you guys money any way possible. Thanks a lot. You guys have a great night.